guys welcome back to the blonde psychic channel thank you thank you to all our new subscribers i hope you enjoy our journey i hope you enjoy i hope you enjoy our channel so just a little bit about our channel um i focus on what i'm passionate about um whatever i feel like reading on the, at the time i make up the topics i want to read and it's kind of things that maybe it's relating to things that i'm going through or just things that um i think you need to know about so I do create my own decks and I do read a lot from my own decks. I do try and deliver you um, stories that you really want to know about and that um, you'll gain knowledge from. So welcome to our new subscribers. I hope you enjoy the journey with me. I hope you um, have fun because I, I do tell it how it is, but I do keep it lighthearted and fun as well. Um, if you want to purchase any of my decks, the links will be to in the information down below. Um, they do take two to three weeks to come in custom, custom made, sorry. I do have children around and pets and animals some of the time, so sometimes you do hear background noise, so just be aware of that. And I usually say when my daughter's having a bit of a teenage mood, so yeah. So today, let's, um, what are we doing? I do have blonde moments as well, so typical blonde moments, pretty funny. I do have to stress that as well. All right, today we are looking at your, who will, you op who will you be opening your heart to? We're going to get some characteristics about the person that's going to be coming into your life. And we're going to be finishing off with some letters to get you some letters and to see, you know, letters can represent their name, your name, day you're born, star sign, places you met, people you met through, things like that. All right. So we're going to jump into the reading. Timestamps will be below. All right, let's jump into it. I'm so excited to read for you all. Group one, hello and welcome to the reading about who you're going to be opening your heart to. Let's get some characteristics about this person or people. I will try to keep it gender specific, but if I say male or female, don't get offended. Take it as it resonates, okay? Always take these videos as they resonate. All right, we're starting off with my traditional tarot deck. Let's jump in and get you some characteristics about the person you're going to be opening your heart to. Let's see who you'll be opening your heart to. Spirit group one, characteristics about who they'll be opening their heart to, please. Hmm, okay. You guys' cards aren't flying out. Usually we get some flyers, some droppers, but nothing's coming out. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Your guys' cards are coming out reversed. What is happening? What is going on with you guys? Hmm. Three more? Three, Spirit's saying three more. Three more. Now we're getting some upright cards. Okay. I see what's going on here. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. All right. You guys have been going through a shit ton of wow healing okay you guys have got your defenses up big time and you are not wanting anything like you're wanting love because at the end of the day everybody wants love i get it i get it everybody wants love everybody wants a partner everybody wants a family everybody wants to be happy and in love it's human, it's human, what's the word? It's human, I can't even think. See these blonde blank moments. Human nature, that's the word I was thinking of. Human nature to want um, a partner. Like think back to the caveman days where you've got the caveman banging his wife on the head with his club, dragging her back. Everybody, it's just human nature to want human contact, okay? You guys are wanting human contact, but you're being very, very defensive about it very very defensive about it um you've come out of a really messy breakup or you've had a loss death maybe even partners passed away um you've been really really hurt i feel like it's more kind of cheated on um trust is gone really really hurt by someone you really loved and put a lot of energy and time into um and you've got your guard up big time not gonna lie you've got your guard up you're wanting love you're open to love coming in, but you've got to let the past go. Okay. 
this is the message I need to tell you before I even start getting into the characteristics of your person that's coming in because it's reflecting your energy a lot. So I have asked for characteristics of the person that's coming in for you guys, but it is simply talking about you a lot. But that's okay. Maybe you need to hear this message of healing and the other decks that I'm going to pull from will clarify some more characteristics about the person that's coming up. But for you guys, you've been really hurt. I see that clearly here. I see that um, you're overcoming a really traumatic time in your life and you have your good and bad days. This is very similar to what I'm going through, the healing journey that I'm going through. So I can sympathize with it a lot. And maybe this is why spirits um, bringing it up because I'm going through it so you and you guys are going through it and I need to explain how to try and start healing and be open to finding new love and be open for new opportunities. So I watched a documentary the other day by Matthew Hussey. Um, he's an Australian love coach, relationship coach. Matthew Hussey, H-U-S-S-Y or E-Y. Matthew Hussey, look him up, like his page, listen to some of his documentaries. He's amazing. He said, in it was a woman who had been hurt by the, in the past and was crying because she wanted new love, but she was too scared of getting hurt. So the goal was to find new love, but not to get hurt. And he said, if you walk into a looking for love or a relationship with the perception of, I'm not going to find it because I'm going to get hurt, because remember what we think we manifest and what we think becomes our reality, what we manifest becomes our reality. So if you walk into a relationship with the head headset or the thought process of, um, I'm just going to get hurt, I'm just going to get hurt, I'm just going to get hurt. What are you putting out into the universe? I'm just going to get hurt. So the universe will bring you people that's going to hurt you. If you don't love yourself, the universe is going to bring in people that aren't going to love you, that are just going to use you. You need to be at a point in your life, even if you are healing, yes, I get it. Healing's an ongoing process. It could go forever. You never know when you'll meet the love of your life, okay? Um, but you need to be at a place in your life when you, where you're so full of self-love. You're a strong, independent person. You're happy on your own. You're okay with being alone. You don't need love. You want love. You need to be at a place in your life where you want love. You're manifesting these good things. You need to let the past go. You need to change the goal of not being scared of love um, and the way you're thinking about it. So the goal is not... Um, so this is what Matthew Hussey was saying. He's saying you've got to change the goal. You've got to change from I'm not going to find new love because I'm scared I'm going to get hurt. I'm going to find new love because I want to be happy in life. I want to find new love because I want to be with someone for the rest of my life. I want to find my true love. I will find my true love. I deserve the love that someone else can reciprocate and give back to me. This is what we need to change in order to change the way we receive the love that the universe is going to bring in for us. Okay? Somebody in group one needed to hear this message. I needed to hear this message because it woke me up. Love shouldn't be hard. Love shouldn't be chased. Love should just be easy and flowing and natural. If someone wants to be there, they'll be there. If someone doesn't, they're not worth it. Don't chase, okay? So you guys are coming out of this hurt, lingering, healing energy, but you are open for love. You just need to change the thought process and the goal of finding the love that you want to receive, okay? Because until you do, the universe will keep bringing you back to getting hurt and not being loved by your partner, okay? You need to fill your own cup and your own worthiness before you'll get the partner that you desire. But um, the person coming in is going to understand this. They are going to be very supportive. I feel like you're going to have a huge talk with them. So this is what I'm talking about. All your cup top cards came out reversed. You have... Five of Swords reversed, which upright is about surrendering and fighting and violence and horrible. It's just a horrible card. Seven of Wands, your strength has been taken away, withdrawn, like deleted. You, your strength is just gone from this horrible fighting process, Five of Swords energy that you're in, and you're just broken, broken down emotionally, physically, spiritually, and your strength is gone as well, and your belief in commitment is also gone. 
because all these top three cards that's what i said talking about you talking about the hurt you've experienced talking about the past still still having your guard up when it comes to commitment higher for an upright commitment um seeking advice marriage long-term commitment but these are all reversed it's shown me that you're in a lot of pain um really hurt really trying to heal your strength is gone trying to get back to your strength trying to get back to your belief in love trying to get back to you who you are um before all this happened the person you were the beliefs that you had um it's like someone has dimmed your light and your shine is gone that's what i mean these top three cards are about you i've asked about the characteristics of the person you're going to be opening your heart to but you need to open your heart to yourself in the beginning this is what spirit is saying here open your heart to yourself start healing start accepting what's happened let the past go change the goal change the way you see things and then and only then will someone new come in once you've opened your heart to yourself and start pouring back into your own cup only then will someone can't new come in and the universe will say yep they're ready let's bring the next person in Start opening your heart to yourself in the first instance, okay? So now we've got past those three little cards there. We come into the Ten of Wands. This is what I'm saying. You're letting, learning to let go of your wands. You're letting the past go. You're letting the past hurt go. You're letting go of the mis, um, misconception of the idea of love, of getting hurt. You're letting it all go. And you're going to become at peace with the life you want and the love you want to come in you're going to do the work you're going to pull the love back into yourself you're going to just make your life over in a sense and you're going to get back to the happiness you once had and the person that you were before all this um chaos came in and turned your life upside down you're going to seek balance again balance is going to be restored back to your life temperance seeking the middle way being alone learning to be happy alone, pouring a love back into yourself, tempering yourself, grounding yourself, living in the present moment, forgetting the past, having memories from the past. Remember, you're going to have good and bad days. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. That's what I mean. You're going to learn to balance. Okay. Those cards are a lot about you, but the person and Ace of Pentacles, is also about you learning to love yourself fill your cup bring your cup back in so this maybe even the person you're opening your heart up to is simply you you need to open up your heart to yourself go through this healing process change the way you think change everything in your life complete 180 in your life get back to a happy place and then we finish off with the ace of pentacles strong grounded new beginning happy worthiness and then your adventure starts you've poured back into your own cup the love is filling back into your own cup you're happy you're grounded you're living life and you're just being very very you know okay with being alone okay with being where you're at in the world okay with who you are as a person once you've done all this and you've poured back into your own cup and you've opened your heart to yourself then the universe will bring in the person who you want to love who you need to love who you're going to love beautiful beautiful strong message there from the tarot i think that's what you needed to hear i really really do think that's what that is the message you needed to hear right now but we're seriously going to now get into so spirit thank you for delivering the message about what group one need to know about um who they need to open their heart up to. They need to go on this healing journey. They need to open their heart up to themselves. We've got that. Thank you for that message. Obviously a strong message they needed to hear. But can we also now, now they're going through this healing journey, now they know what they need to do, can we get some characteristics of the person that they're going to, that is going to be coming into their life once they've done the work they need to do? Let's try and get some characteristics about your person coming in. This is my blonde um blonde priestess oracle deck so get some characteristics of the person coming into your life <coughs> excuse me characteristics person coming in thank you yes beautiful 
more characteristics please thank you one more priestess card thank you all right we have okay warrior priestess always ready to fight for you be in your corner and lead you through your battle with a tough fighting spirit this as i said i think i said it not long ago the person coming in for you is going to hear your story they're going to learn about your past they're going to learn about your present they're going to learn about your future they're going to learn about your heartache your insecurities um the battle you've been through they're going to be there your number one fighter for you in your corner backing you up like a boxer ready to fight they are there in your corner your number one cheerleader egging you on ready to go to battle for you they are going to be so in love with you ready to go for war with you they're going to remember the heartache you've been through already so they're going to have a really empathetic um viewpoint of your life they're not going to feel sorry for you they're going to come into your world feel you full of love feel you full of hope feel you full of you know just fulfill your dreams and want to be this beautiful connection that you haven't had in the past I feel like they're a very refreshing energy it's someone you haven't experienced in the past it's a love you haven't experienced in the past before uh, very emotional emotionally available very um loving and affectionate and just there by your side ready to hold your hand ready to cuddle you when you cry ready to listen to you when you laugh making you laugh going adventures of you ready to just be there for you and to be in your world and we've also got innocent priestess inexperienced and vulnerable beautiful and vague strength is a kindness and strong to heart sorry and strong heart to help anyone who comes across her path see so they are going to be innocent they are going to have like this childlike innocence about you which i feel like you'll be very mothering and very um feminine and nurturing towards them so it's going to be a beautiful balance of um yin and yang energy they're going to have their beautiful vulnerable moments where you can pick them up and you're going to have um your vulnerable moments where they can where they can heal you and aid you with the warrior priestess um but that's what i said strength is their kindness and strong heart they're going to have a very strong heart they're going to love you come in and envelop you with love it's like a big cloud of love coming in to just give you a big hug um so yeah they do have like a childlike childlike innocence and experience and experience i feel like they've been very stably married for a long time or they've been in a very long-term committed relationship that they've recently come out of but um they didn't want it to end because they just want to be with somebody they just want to they have a lot of love to give and um to share with the world and they come across you you're like a broken soul like a wounded deer in a sense and they come in and they just heal your wounds and envelop you with love and you makes you believe in love again it's a really beautiful energy that i'm picking up on so enjoy it when it comes it's really fun and it's really light-hearted and it's very it is innocent and beautiful and it just flows and happens really easily so it's a beautiful thing and blind priestess she uses her mind to manifest everything in her really reality to happen uses her mind to manifest everything in her reality to happen did i not speak about in the beginning of your reading you need to change the, your perception of love you need to change the goal like matthew hussey said you need to change your goal end goal once you change your thought patterns i'm laughing because it's funny how spirit just backs up what you already said um once you change your thought patterns and the kind of love you're trying to be bring into the world and you've done that hard work from building your self-worth and filling your life um your cup back to up with love um you're manifesting changes you're calling in the love you want to receive you're calling in your soulmate you're calling in the kind of love that you want to be reciprocated back to you it's going to happen and it happens from you simply changing the way you think and feel about love so this was characteristics about them but it is spirit is still bringing in characteristics about you so it's a bit it's a bit fun it's a bit cute the spirit's still doing that but maybe they're also manifesting you as well as i said they want love they've come out of a long-term commitment and they want to be in a continued long-term commitment so they're calling in you as well let's get some emotional characteristics of the person you're going to be opening your heart to this is my emotional deck 
What can we tell group one about the person they're going to be meeting? Ditsy. So if you're in a different country and you don't know what ditsy is, it's kind of like dumb. Like a lot of people, my friends called me ditsy, like dumb blonde. Um, so that's what I mean. I don't think they're dumb individuals at all. I think they're very childlike, very innocent, um, very loving and very dreamy people. They just like want to come in and envelop you full of love, very carefree, don't take life extremely seriously, like to have fun and, um, you know, live on the lighter side of life. They are a follower. So as I said, I feel like you will be the nurturer in this relationship. You will be the stronger alpha per, alpha leader in this relationship. And they will be following your advice that you will be offering them lots of nurturing and um, guidance. And you'll be sort of like the alpha who pays the bills and puts them back on track when they're getting a bit silly with the kids or whatever it may be. But in a sense, even though they are a follower and not a leader, not an alpha, you're okay with that because they come in and they bring you all the nurturing you need and it is a different kind of love you've never experienced before and you're okay with um, taking the lead when it comes to specific areas of your life because you are a strong individual who, and your hurt has turned you into a strong um, alpha leader. So it's an equal, beautiful relationship. Ooh, tough energy here, suicidal. Um, literally could have been suicidal in the past so mental health may not have been the best but i feel like they this was just a chapter in their life a hard chapter in their life maybe they came out of this long-term commitment and didn't know what to do with themselves and were was very broken extremely broken but that's what i mean you have both been very broken you've both, both been very hurt in the past so that's kind of like your meeting point and that brings you together and allows you to help each other to come together and heal through and from the pain that you've already experienced in a sense okay all right let's get some more information about who you're opening your heart to with our characteristic characteristics decks look at that little chap isn't he cute all right let's get some characteristics about this love that's coming in for you messages about the love that's coming in for group one please Talkative, fond of making conversation with others. They're going to be very talkative, very lighthearted, very friendly. Um, they'll talk your head off. I talk everybody's head off. People I've been meeting lately are like, you like to talk a lot. I'm like, yeah, I do like to talk a lot, actually. I'm very talkative. I'm very social. They're just, that's what I mean. They're very carefree. Don't take life too seriously. Like to talk, like to have fun, and will feel your, like there'll be no dull, silent moments. They'll just be full of chat, full of conversation, and really lighthearted, fun energy. Ooh, aggressive verbally or, phys or, or physically, um, argumentative, often arguing with people. So maybe you have, maybe you have like, in Australia we call it banter. So maybe you have really, really good banter with this person. I feel like they're very passionate about some subjects in their life and maybe you don't agree so much with some of the subjects in their life and they're going to, I don't think they'll get aggressive because they don't come across as, really strong aggressive energy but argumentative yes definitely argumentative so if you don't agree with someone something they agree with they're going to argue and banter and make like it's like light-hearted fun laughing like an orange is orange no it's yellow like something really silly like that it's going to be light-hearted back and forth banter and you're going to just end up laughing at the end of these silly arguments it's going to be that kind of energy, not heavy energy at all. There's nothing heavy about this person. Oh, that just flew out. Take it. <coughs> oh, sorry. I've got something in my throat. Feels like I've got a frog in my throat. Uh, volatile. Changing moods very quickly. So that's what I mean. They are going to be very lighthearted and very easygoing. They're going to be able to switch moods easily to encompass what you're going through. So... Because I feel like you're very emotional and very broken still. You have done the work, yes. And you've got to a point where you need... Kind of this person comes in at a time where you need something more to aid you on your healing journey. So that's what I mean. They'll make you laugh. They'll be able to cry with you. They'll be able to sit there and talk to you and have a laugh with you. They'll be able to adapt with what you need. And they're going to bring... They're going to be... The universe is going to bring them in as in a sense of healing and aid of healing for you so they come in at a time when you really need something and I feel like you're calling someone in to help you aid on this healing journey that you're going through so 
So you're going to be able to adapt to what you need. And it's like a Band-Aid. The universe is bringing you a Band-Aid. And this person is your Band-Aid. And when you, even when you rip the Band-Aid off, they're still going to be there loving you at the end of the day. Okay? All right. Love messages. This person is how this love person's love style. Let's have a look. Feels you and them equals chemistry overload. So when you meet them, you're gonna have flirty, fun, energetic banter backwards and forwards. You're going to just know you're going to meet them, and your world's gonna overflow with chatty, flirty chemistry and banter. It's gonna be really fun, light-hearted, and yeah, just amazing. More love characteristics, please, spirit. Between group one person who they're opening their heart to. Yes, release the past garbage. In order to move on, you must firstly release your ex and cleanse your energy. So you both have to do this. You have to do it in order to go on this healing journey. I feel like spirit is talking about characteristics of the person that's coming in, but they're also bringing up a lot what you have to do still. So they are still saying you have to continue continue to work on yourself and continue to heal and aid yourself through this journey and giving 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 love back to yourself and um, pouring back into your own cup throughout this journey okay so you have to release the past garbage release the past hurt change the miscon change the misconception of being hurt in future relationships don't let the past come into new relationships and treat you um like, don't let the fear of being hurt from your past relationships and experience hold you back from the future you could have. I already know you already know your love. So maybe you're, this is Spirit saying, you already know the person that is coming into your world. You know this person and you haven't paid attention to them or you don't see them in that kind of way. But Spirit's saying you already know them. They're already in your friendship circle. They're already in your sphere. So have a think. Who's been flirting with you? Who's been like friend zoned? Who's been um, showing interest that you're not showing interest back in? Really have a think. Who is it? Must be someone you know. The spirit's saying you already know them. All right, let's see what you need to know about this connection with my knowledge deck. Group one, what do they need to know about this connection? Group one, what do they need to know? Altered views. So that's what I mean. You're still looking at love from altered views and, alter, and altered perspectives. You really, really need to say spirit is urging you to change the way you see love and um, think about love. Really, really think about what you're um, saying to yourself and what thought processes you are having. Change the way you think and call in the love that you deserve. Only then will it change, okay? Group two, what do they need to know about this person? Yes, compass on your journey. So you're going through this journey. Spirit is taking you through this journey, this healing journey, bringing this um, love to yourself first and then bringing this person in to help aid and complete your healing journey. It's just a compass on your journey. You're going to look back on this time in your life and think, wow, I really did go through a lot. And it was Spirit's way of saying, yes, we needed to teach you these lessons in order to gain the person you needed in your life and to love yourself and not repeat the same cycles as you have in the past. In order to have a happy future, you need to change the, as I say this, wow, change the way you think and feel about relationships. Can do a complete 180 about what you've done in the past and not repeat past mistakes. Mistakes. And look, the turning wheel comes in. Wheel of fortunes come in. Luck is changing. You're changing the way you're doing things. And now, wow. Your love is going, your love life is going to transform. So this reading has been a lot about you, opening your heart to yourself, bringing this person in to help you finish on your healing journey. It is a love you've never experienced before. Maybe you have not loved yourself before, but spirit is bringing the focus back on you quite a lot. Droning out the noise, yes. Going on this healing journey, droning out that that no longer serves you, cutting away that that no longer serves you and just living your best life and pouring back into your own cup. This is the messages that keep coming up. So, you know, this is what you need to hear. I'm sorry you're not getting a heap of characteristics about the person you're going to be opening your heart to, but the big message here is you need to open your heart to yourself firstly. Okay. All right. Let's check your energy to finish this reading with my energy deck. Oh, they fell out fast. 
Yes, you will beat the odds. That flower is growing out of concrete. You will beat the odds. So in your moments of doubt, remember your worth. Remember the love you want. Remember the love you're calling in. You will beat the odds. It will happen. Your life will transform. You just got to try and stay positive through the negative. I get it. It's hard. I get it. Impossibilities are endless. Once you change the way you think and feel about relationships, once you change your thought processes, once you change the love you're calling in, your impossibilities are endless and you will call in the love you are desperately seeking to find. One last card, please, Spirit. Yes, moving forward, as I said, making all the changes necessary, calling in your love, moving forward in love, and look, that's with your person. Moving forward, living life, having a good time, changing the way you think about love. This is a really positive reading. I'm really glad I did it. I love it. All right, let's finish your reading off with some letters. Okay, is that all? All right, we've got a V, a U. Yes, focus on you a lot. T, Q, R, O, X could be an X you're dealing with, healing from X past issues, releasing the X garbage, Y and R. Okay? T, X, R, O, Y, Q, U, V. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope um, it resonates. Let me know how it did in the comments below. Hope you get the love you seek. I hope you can fill your cup full of love and um, bring the love you're seeking to yourself. Take care, group one. Bye. Group 2, hi, and welcome to the reading about who will you be opening your heart to. Let's get some characteristics about the person you'll be opening your heart to who is coming into your life. Group 1 was quite deep. I spoke about them quite a lot and the journey they need to go on. So if this group doesn't resonate, remember to take what resonates, leave behind what doesn't. Always choose another group. You can always choose another group, okay? Beautiful, balance we like good opening to the reading oh okay characteristics about group two's person please spirit nice nice oh okay take it that flipped out really fast okay so group two your person is going to come in when the, and they are very balanced energy and you're in a time in your life where you're very balanced, everything in your life is really good, you're in a good place, you're calling in love, you're searching for love, you're actively searching for love, you're just well balanced and I feel like you're living a really good life and you are very spiritual and you give thanks to the universe for what you've got in your life and you get a very, very balanced life, part in your life where you're ready to call in the love that you're seeking and you're doing this actively. And the person that's coming into your life is also seeking you out, calling you out, um, really wanting you in their life. So it's like your two soulmates calling each other in, like ships that are um, trying to find each other in the night. You haven't found each other yet, but you're both beautifully, beautifully, beautifully balanced and on the same vibration. So they say law of attraction works and um, you call in your soulmate. And when you're, so you're putting out to the universe, you want this person, you're putting it out there, you're vibrating high, I want my soulmate, I want my love, where are they? They're also vibrating on the same energy frequency that you're at. They're saying, I want my love, I want my person, I want my soulmate. So when two energies vibrate at the same frequency, that is when the universe bring them together and everything works, law of attraction. Putting out exactly what you're seeking, coming together so they're vibing you you're vibing them same frequency say same high vibration and this is when the universe will bring both of you in together because you're both vibrating at the same frequency it could be someone from the past three of cups does talk about um, the past coming back but if you're not wanting a past this also could re um, represent success and communities so it could be someone you meet out in the community um, out in your job role, um, they're very community minded, they like to, maybe they coach a soccer team or they're very active within the local community, um, they're very successful, That's, as I said, they're every part of their life and your life is put together and you're both just ready for 
you know, this love to come together, but they're very successful. Could be someone from your past. Again, this is a card of past energy. So take what resonates does and leave behind what doesn't. Um, if you don't want someone from your past or you can't think of who it is from your past, remember, could be someone in the community, someone very active within the community, someone very successful in their career, very well put together, their life is put together. Every avenue of their life is good, successful, they're happy, except for their love life. They're calling you in. They're seeking you out. They want you. They're calling you in hard. They do have their doubts about love, though. They do have their doubts about love. Um, Nine of Wands, upright. They've had, in their past, they've had a really shitty past. And um, they've come out of heartbreak or a situation that was really hard on them. And they had to stay very, very strong throughout it. So they're going to have some baggage and issues. Don't get me wrong. They're not going to be perfect human beings. Um, maybe they they portray to the outside world that they have their shit together. They're strong. They're happy. They're focused. But behind closed doors, you get to see their vulnerability. You get to see the beautiful emotional person that they are. Um, but they've overcome this hard time. But time to time, it will come up that they are emotional. They are needing your strength and support. They are needing your light and your guidance to help bring them because they will slip back into this memory and this time and this heartache of, um, you know, being hurt from the past, as everyone has. And um, they're going to express it to you, though. And remember, when they do slip back into this um, negative mind frame of the past, just let them know you're there for them. Let them know you're there if they need you to have a chat, have a cuddle, whatever it is. Um, just be open to their past hurt and their vulnerabilities and um, help them through it as much as you can. It's a beautiful thing when someone can open up emotionally to you and talk to you about how they're feeling and seek out your assistance and help because that's what partners are for. That's you know, they should not only be your best friend, they should be your number one support so and help lift you up in times of need. So that's what you'll be to them and they'll be to you. So just remember that could happen. Um, and so it will be like a refreshing energy for you as well. Page of Swords, they're going to be... Um, so it's really funny. For some of you guys, it's going to be someone from the past coming back with a new, totally new perspective on life. So they've done a complete change in their life and they're coming back with new fresh energy but for some of you as well it's going to be someone completely new they are maybe younger than you because pages are quite young but they are look at look at the key words on here chatty lively quick thinking analytical logical and cool and possess a sharp mind so pages thoughts is about clarity and um going for what you want it's like they're really switched on in their mind they know what they want they have goals they're driven they're successful and um, they're really going to come into you. Sorry, my washing machine's beeping. I'm just going to turn it off, guys. So, yes, they are going to be very sharp, very witty, very... They're going to be clear in their mind what they want and you are, you are what they want. They want a relationship. They want something long-term. They want something lasting. And they're very clear, clear about what they want. It's very refreshing, very good. Like, it's just like they're not players. They're very straightforward. They tell you how it is. They know what they want. You don't have to worry about their loyalty. They're just a really good human being. Really good feelings about them. They're making me smile, actually. It's really, really nice energy. King of Pentacles. They are coming across of King of Pentacles. So they literally go from a page to a king straight away. Straight away. And King of Pentacles is like a supporting, beautiful provider. That's what I mean. This person has everything you want in a person. Strong, structured, very successful in their work, very supporting, will lift you up and help you and just be there for you. And they just want to grow with you. It is a really, really beautiful person that's coming into your life. I'm very envious in a sense. Very, very envious. But yeah, it's a beautiful energy. And this is just a really beautiful person that just wants to lift you up and help you and build with you and grow with you it's really refreshing and it's just i feel like you can see a smile on my face it's just really beautiful gentle energy i like it when people can be emotionally available and you know it's what a good partnership should be it's um supportive and uplifting and they're your best friends and they're there for you when they need you and you have good communication and it's just everything you want in a person it's really healthy it's really 
healthy bond and it's just going to be a beautiful partnership. So I'm really envious group number two, really, really envious. And again, it's a very, it's a new beginning for you guys. So you've both had a hard cycle. It's an end of the old ways, um, coming into this beautiful new love cycle together. Your judgment has happened. Karmic lessons have been learned from the past, not repeating the same relationship styles as the past. And again, referring back to the person that's coming back from the past if this is a past energy it is a brand new person in a sense because they have gone away and they've done a complete 180 of their life and they have changed and it's going to be a complete new cycle with this person so take it as it resonates could be someone new could be someone from the past as well but whatever it is completely new beginning they're like a completely new person and just enjoy it when it comes because it is a very healthy very stable relationship. It's a really beautiful relationship. Very envious. Very, very envious group two. Let's get you some more characteristics about this person that's coming in. This is my Blonde Priestess deck. If you'd like to purchase any of my decks, the link will be below. Let's see some more characteristics. Oh, get one or two. Beautiful. Oh, calm down. This person is really full of energy. The cards are just wanting to fly out. Okay, what have we got here? We've got masculine priestess. So they're going to be very masculine, very strong, very um, manly. Take that as it resonates. Remember, women are full of uh, masculine energy too. So take it as it resonates, okay? Although female, he looks, acts, and thinks masculine. All energies are aligned and strong-willed with this handsome fighting spirit. See, what did I say? This person has their shit together. Their masculine and feminine energy is balanced out. All energies are aligned. Strong-willed with this handsome fighting spirit. Well, you've got like the complete ultimate package. They can nurture you when you need to be nurtured. They'll lift you up. They're strong-willed. They're handsome. Wow. I'm so envious. I want to meet this person. Where are they? This is amazing. Um, you've also got the water priestess. She has control of her emotions, can cool off, off any situation and aid in the freezing of negative emotions. As I said, got their shit together, can aid you when you need to be um, aided, laugh when you need to laugh, cry when you need to cry, help lift you up. They're your best friend. They have their shit together. Oh, but it's also beautiful because it did show they do have their moments of weakness. So um, you'll be able to give that back to them when they're feeling vulnerable. But they're pretty strong-willed. Pretty strong-willed. The elf priestess. She has keenest senses. She has keen senses. Sight, slender, graceful, yet strong. But we're resistant to extremes of nature, illness, and disease. This is just saying what I've just said. They will build you up when you need to build up. The senses are high. They're able to aid you when you're vulnerable. Um, but you're also... They do have their weaknesses, so they're not Superman, okay? They are going to have moments of vulnerability, so you will need to, in turn, give them back the help they need because they're going to be this strong, structured, supportive person for you, so you'll give back to them when they're having their moments of weakness, okay? Beautiful, balanced energy and relationship coming up for you guys. Um, this is my emotional deck, so let's get some emotional characteristics of this person. Hopeful, yes. They look at life from a hopeful point of view. Whenever a negative comes around, they'll always see the hope hope in the situation. They are very hopeful and they are very positive human beings. Beautiful energy. I'm liking this person more and more. Love it. Healing, yes. They're very healing to you. They're very nurturing to you. And you're going to be very healing and nurturing to them in a sense as well. Okay, this one wants to come out. These two want to come out. Drained and butterflies. So sometimes they will get drained. They're not Superman, as I've said. You will be able to aid them when they need to be aided and loved. Um, when they're having their moments of vulnerability, you're going to be able to pick them up when they're down. Butterflies, they're going to be so in love with you. They're going to be like a giddy little kid. They're going to be so, so in love with you. You're going to give them butterflies. They're going to be just all about you. It is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Characteristics, let's get some more characteristics about this amazing human being that's coming into your life. Retire, I can't even say that raw word. I wrote these cards, I made these cards. Not revealing one's thoughts easily. So 
like you're going to be hesitant to open up to this person at first because you don't want to get hurt again but um you're going to be like they're going to break down your walls you're going to have a wall around your heart and they're going to break through that wall so it's not going to take them long for you for them to work you out they're going to break through your barriers and walls and it's just going to be a beautiful relationship precise careful and with great attention to detail yes very put together very strong-willed human being um, very precise and to the point they're very very well-rounded person loving it volatile changing moods very quickly so maybe what are the what am i got hang on my guides are saying something to me they're not angry they don't have a temper they don't have a bad mood but if someone does you wrong they like a very protective energy if someone does someone um that they love wrong they will attack and they will fight for what they love so yeah if someone does them wrong or does someone they love within their circle wrong they will defend they will be there they're like um will defend the person what they love and what they love to the death so very much your energy there Whew, I'm getting chills it's a bit of a turn on because um masculine energy is shining through and it's just like they will fight for you they'll be there for you they'll stick up for you you're theirs and they make it known that you're theirs it's not like a possessive energy energy it's not possessive at all it's a over it's a loving energy that they will do anything for you because they love you that deeply wow this is my um blonde still owns my heart love deck so let's find out the love situation between you even though i think we already know Oh, you'll be marrying this person. Will you marry me? Engagement is in your future. This is your forever after. This is your soulmate. You called each other in. You're done. Feels take two. You and them equals realness. That's what I said. You've called each other in. You are each other's person. It is love at first sight. You're going to marry them. Oh, I am so envious group two. Envious, envious. I want to meet this person. Healing the issues, trust, infidelity, family. You are not letting love in by not letting the is is issues go. Stop letting the past hold you from the future you want. I feel like at moments within your relationship, the past, as I said, I brought it up in the beginning of your reading, the past hurt is going to creep back in sometimes. The past doubt, the moments of vulnerability are going to be there. Just remember the love you have, each, have for, each, for this person and the love they have for you. Build them up when they need it. Talk to them when they're feeling vulnerable. Comfort them, nurture them, um, and they will do the same for you. Just know, no relationship is per perfect. You're going to have your moments of weakness. It's going to happen. So come up twice now, a few times. Just know it's going to be an issue. Not an issue. You're going to be able to work through it because you have really good communication, but it is going to be an ongoing issue, okay, because of the past hurt. What do you need to know about this? person you're going to love you're opening your heart to that flew across the floor motion sickness you're going to be going through a whirlwind of experiences and emotions with this person you're going to feel like dreamland like it's too good to be true like and the time is just going to fly when you're with this person you're going to have such a good time you're going to be like a little teenager that has a curfew that needs to get home and go to bed but they're going to make you feel beautiful you're going to feel like a whirlwind of emotions look this is you looking out your window calling in your soulmate oh you alone sitting in your window looking out the window saying where is my soulmate i want to call you in they are coming they're sitting in that window calling you too they are on their way yes see because it's up in the air at the moment you're still sitting at your window not knowing wondering where they are up in the air thinking where is this lover of mine got a lot of love to give when are they coming but it will be coming sooner than you think bridging the gap crossing the path calling your love in it is going to happen sooner than you think all right let's finish your reading off with checking your energy checking this person's energy heart chakra yes you've both healed your heart chakra healing from past hurt remember it's an ongoing journey you have to continue to heal this heart chakra and not let it um, the negativity creep in okay turning on the lights spirit is turning on the lights they're bringing this person in calling this person in they are coming okay beyond the mountains yes you're going to move beyond these mountains you're going to be walking up these mountains look there you are at 
the tip of that mountain. You've got your person now. You're at the tip of that mountain. You're going to climb the mountain with this person. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Yes, looking through the wire, remember, Spirit is saying there's going to be hard times. You've both been hurt in the past. There are going to be times when hard times that you're going to experience together. You've got to remember throughout these hard times, don't run away. Be each other's strengths. Build each other up. Talk, communicate, and just tell each other how you're feeling and what you need from them, okay? Let's give you some letters to finish off your reading. We've got quite a few. J. U, P, C, E, A, I, another E, S, L, W, N, P. J, U, C, P, J, U, P, C, W, P, so two P's. N S L I A E. Your letter, their letters, initials, words, was, is, will be, whatever it may be. But it's going to be a beautiful connection, a beautiful journey. Okay? Very envious group, too. Very envious. I'm not going to lie. Take care of yourselves. Bye. Group three. Hi, and welcome to your reading about who are you opening your heart to? Let's get some characteristics about the person you're going to be opening your heart to that's coming into your life. That's a lot of cards. Okay. Okay. Again, could be someone from the past. Very similar to group two. Ooh, okay. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Okay. For a lot of you, this is about a past connection, a past um, connection that's actually hurt you. Because I'm going to start with these two cards. It is a toxic. So the devil is someone you're obsessed with, someone um, you can't get out of your mind, someone you keep going back to that the universe brings tower moments in and tears you apart from. To so the we have tower moments in our life when the person or situation is not serving us anymore, when there's no more forward progression and we need to quit learning um, karmic cycles when maybe you keep coming back together and nothing changes. That means you both haven't learned the lessons you need to learn in life. It doesn't mean that you haven't, um, you're not meant to be with this person. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that the universe keeps um, tearing you apart because you or them need to change something about yourself and you need to learn a lesson in order to become a different person and a different version of yourself. So you can, if you are meant to be with this person, you will come back together with this person, but you won't come back together with them until you have changed, until the situation has changed, until you're ready to change, learn the lessons, change the lessons and get rid of this toxicity. Maybe it's as simple as commitment issues or childhood issues, shadow work, um, getting rid of a third party situation, forgiving, learning, healing, growing, whatever it is. You're not with this person currently, doesn't mean you're not meant to be with them, but you need to change the cycle, you need to change the pattern, you need to learn the lesson, change who you are, um, as a person. And if you want to be with this person, you both need to have clear, honest communication, learn the lessons, um, apply them to the new future you want to have, start building a solid foundation together um, in order to be together. That is clearly what the message here with this devil card. But it is someone from the past. Um, I feel like they did do you wrong, maybe cheated or was tempted or flirted with someone else, um, sent nudes, something simple like that. Maybe not even have been physical, but they were not giving their full attention to you. They were not giving you 100% of their time. They were tempted. They were off um, tempted by other women or other men, whatever it may have been. And it maybe made you walk away from the situation, okay? But um, clear obsession here, clear addiction. You do keep coming together. You do keep having karmic cycles and patterns with this person and nothing is going to change until you learn the lesson and change your behavior 
um, and make changes necessary. If you want to be with this person, that is, I'm talking about if you want this person back in your life, nothing's going to change until you have this honest, clear communication. Change, learn the lesson and start building with solid, honest truth and foundations that you need to build, you need to build the future upon, okay? But it is reversed. Seven of Cups is reversed. So um, they're not looking at their options anymore. Maybe they've realized by losing you that you are their person. They want to work on themselves. They want to have a future with you. But um, you need to see the changes. You need to see that they're serious. You need to see their actions. You need to see this change is happening in order to believe them because I think your trust is so broken and the way they treated you was so badly that they can, the only way they can come back in and get back in to a good stable place with you is by proving it to you, proving it beyond a doubt because Three of Cups talks about, yes, someone from the past coming back in and having success and um, a future with them, marriage, um, commitment, successful relationship and I feel like you are each other's hope you never left each other's thoughts or hearts and um this is what the, the the star is like the card of the tarot it's like the divine hopeful card so it is like the divine bringing you back together and it's it's paired under the three of cups card so this shows shows me and tells me that this is a soulmate karmic twin flame relationship it is very hopeful you've never lost sight of each other You've never left each other's hearts, thoughts, brains, or souls. Very deep connection. Felt very deeply by the both of you, spiritually, mentally, physically. You both know it. But I feel like you both, it was just very unhealthy and wasn't working because one or both wasn't giving. I feel like it was more them, not you, because you tried and you tried and you tried and you tried. Um, but they just weren't willing to change or um, change the way they were treating you. So you just had to walk, give up, hold your hands up in the air and say, you know what? can't take your scraps anymore, I'm done. And you needed to walk away in order to have the life that you needed to live, to have, like find the love you needed to have. Because um, they are very, you are very balanced and you are at a place of peace and acceptance and you're like, whatever's going to happen, it happens. If this person, the only way this person is coming back is if they're going to completely change and prove to me that they've changed. But you are very balanced and I feel like they will do this i feel like um they are addicted to you they want you they're just hiding behind these emotions and the person that they're pretending to be um they're pretending to the world they're okay but deep down when they're alone they cry they think about you they just want you back you were their light and now their light has gone they're living in the darkness and until they accept the truth until they accept their truth and admit it to them and start changing and acknowledging and acting from a place of a heart space and opening up emotionally, nothing's going to change. They need to do that on their own. You cannot do that for them, unfortunately, okay? Um, Nine of Pentacles, you may be pregnant to this person or um, get pregnant to them in the future if you get back together. It's a good omen though. So it will, it will show them maybe that they are going to change, they are going to make the changes necessary and they will prove to you beyond a doubt that they will be coming back and making things work. But they do have a lot of work and um, changes to make in order to make this relationship work. All right. It's a bit deep and meaningful. I'm feeling a bit deep, deep energy. It's really strong energy I'm feeling, okay? Let's get some more characteristics about this person with my Blonde Priestess deck. Group three. Oh, thank you. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful, nice, nice. Well, your cards just fell out and you got four. I was only doing three, but you're four. Okay. Sun Priestess. She is happiness, a ray of hope through the darkest days of your life. She always raises after the darkness of the moon has gone to bed. What did I just finish saying? You were this person's light. You were their light. You were their shining light. You were their sun. They're living in a darkness without you. They want their son back. Isn't it funny how I say these things and spirit just backs them up with more cards from different decks. You are their son. They want you back in their life. They've lost the darkness. They're living in the darkness. They're blind without you. Blind priestess. She uses her mind to manifest everything in a reality to happen. Reality to happen. 
They're living blindly. They're living in the dark. They're blinding themselves with the truth. They're not admitting their truths. They're keeping themselves in a facade. A facade? Facade? That word. Lying to themselves. Not living their truth. Keeping themselves from the love they could be having. But they're only doing it to themselves. But they are trying to manifest these changes to happen. And manifesting these... Um, manifesting you back into their lives they're wanting you back they're calling you back in and they're really manifesting it hard they really are wanting these changes to apply to their world manifesting you back wild priestess she's a free spirit and doesn't answer to anyone her favorite thing is to be in nature and run free this is the energy they're kind of living in now regret avoiding their true feelings avoiding um the realness of their world avoiding you know, pretending they're okay without you because you were their light and now they're living in moon energy, deceiving themselves, wearing a mask, pretending they don't care, but really they do care, acting like a little child with no responsibilities. They don't care, acting like they don't care, but you know what? They do care. You are you are their light. They are not happy without you. They're pretending they're happy without you. They're pretending they're doing okay. They're writing posts about you. They're writing posts on social media saying, they're okay, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. They're portraying a false sense of who they are to the world. Avoidance. Crystal Priestess. She uses her natural connection to the Earth's magical crystals to help in any area of your life. She's the magician of the priestess world. Funny that we got magician and blind priestess manifesting you back into their world. They are manifesting you hard. They want you back in their world. They just want you to come back and, um, you know, be the person, be their person, be their light, be their sunshine. But you're standing firm. You're not going to go back unless they change, unless they change and, and be the person you need them to be. You're not going to go back. You're standing firm on that. You're not doing it. I see you're not doing it until they're showing their actions to reflect their words and the way they're feeling. Because you've been too hurt by the past and you need to break that cycle. And you need to change these people and grow and start building a solid foundation together. And that starts with open communication. Open, clear, concise, human, heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Um, this is my emotional deck, so let's get some emotion, emotional characteristics of this person. Angry. It's reversed. So they're coming out of this anger. Maybe they're bitter that you left them and won't. And maybe you're standing up for yourself now and knowing your worth. They're not angry that, and they're angry that you're waking up to this and you're not taking their shit anymore. But they're not angry anymore. They're reversed now. So maybe they're trying to come into alignment with their true feelings about you. What else have we got here? Depressed. They're depressed without you. Sad, lying to themselves. Their light has gone. But it is reversed. So again, I think they're starting to wake up. I think, I think they're starting to see your worth and value your worth and um, really appreciating the strong person that you're becoming. And coming out of this anger and depression, waking up to their true feelings and really wanting to change that change and to show you they've changed and have this conversation with you in order to build the future you need. Because they are in love with you. They are in love with you. As I said, this is a connection. It's very hard to find. It's a very, very strong connection. You know it. They know it. But you had to let it go in order to be happy once again. But they are not happy. They're starting only now to wake up to it. Um, let's get some more characteristics of this person with my characteristics deck. Ooh, precise. And with great attention to detail. Yes, they're waking up. They want to show you they've changed. They want to be precise. They want to build this future with you. But it's going to take a lot of work. And they're willing to put in the work with that precise card. They want the attention to It's like they're in the planning stage. When you start planning a trip, they're in this planning stage. They're coming towards you. They want to approach you, but they need to be precise. Be precise and with great detail before you even think about talking to them. Kind, thoughtful, caring. They need to be kind to you. They may have treated you quite badly in the past. So they need to be kind to you, approach you with kind and thoughtful actions. Um, they have never stopped loving you. They just treated you so badly that you were broken. They broke you. They finally broke you. And that was their mission to break you, to throw you away. Because they thought you would always be there. But you know what? No. Talkative, yes. They need to talk to you. They want to talk to you. They want to have a conversation with you. They want to open up to you and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. And they will be doing it very soon. 
but they are, as I said, they are in the stages of planning it. So it's going to be planned. They need to really put thought about how they're going to approach you in a kind way because they have hurt you and they want to come forward and talk to you. So it will be happening. Expect communication soon. Okay, love messages with my blonde has my heart deck. Love messages, group three. Divorce, it's best to separate. Yes, you're currently in separation from this person. Definitely someone from the past. Again, universe is saying, spirit is saying, you need to be torn apart to in, or, in order to change and grow and become the person you need to become. If you're going to come back together, you needed to make these changes necessary in order to grow and not repeat the same um, patterns of the past. You need to start building that solid foundation together. Attraction. You're feeling sexy as F-U-C-K and you reciprocate love. They think you're so sexy. They're so drawn to you. They love your body. They love being passionate with you. They love having sex with you. They love everything about you. You're such a beautiful person. They're just drawn to you like a moth to a flame. They just want you in their world. You are their son. You are their son. They don't feel the same. Stop wasting your time now. This is why you walked away because they were giving you breadcrumbs. They were giving you nothing. You had to walk away in order to um, accept the situation. You had to walk away in order for them to realize that you're not doing it anymore. You're not repeating the circle. You're not repeating the same patterns. They need to change. They need to show you they're changing um, because they've lost you and they know it's for good this time unless they make those huge drastic change, necessary changes to bring you back into their life. And they are doing it because they're manifesting you hard with the magician and the blind priestess manifesting you hard. What do you need to know about this connection? Yes, you're in a place of serene serenity. You're at peace with not being with this person. You're okay with it. Whatever happens, happens. You're in the mind frame of whatever happens, happens. You're open to being with them again. Um, but they need to make these huge, huge changes in order for you to even consider it. They are waking up to it though. They are gathering the strength to come forward, to reach out to you, to make the changes necessary. They are not being strong. They are waking up to it. They are finding their strength within. They are waking up to it. I've got to keep repeating that. They are waking up to this connection and love. Yes, because you are the, it comes, it comes back to sunshine a lot with you guys, quite a lot, quite a lot. So you are their light, you are their sunshine, you are their passion. They know it. Look at that light. They are searching for their light. They want it back. What do they need to know about this connection group? Four. Yes. In the past, they were chasing other people, weren't giving you their attention, um, not giving you the love and admiration and time you needed. Forbidden fruit weren't giving you what you needed and they're realizing this they're waking up to it they know that you're their light they know that you're their person they knew this the whole time and they were just gaslighting you and not giving you and giving you scraps and they knew what they were doing they're fully aware of it they thought you'd always be there for them they thought you that it could always keep you as an option on the back burner but you know what no no but they are waking up to it i don't know why i'm keep i'm so drawn to keep saying that it's really bizarre I'm not sure why spirit's making me say they are waking up to it. Maybe you're doubting that they're ever going to change, but they are waking up to it, okay? Let's check their energy. Oh, drowning in fear. They are so lost without you. Look, drowning in fear. Lost without you. Don't know how to think. Don't know how to sleep. Again, portraying to the world that they're okay. But they are not okay. They really aren't. They are drowning in fear. They are lost without you. So scared to not have you back in their life ever again. They are making notes to themselves. They've gone into this introspection mode. They're planning how they're going to come back and approach you. It's like, as again, I'm going to repeat it again. They are planning to go on. It's like when you prepare to go on a journey. You have to plan it out. How are you going to get there? What are you going to eat? What are you going to sleep? What's accommodation? They're doing this. They're, they're doing this at the moment. They're in this planning stage. They are writing their notes. They are thinking of how they can approach you in that kind, thoughtful manner. And they're really, really deep within introspection hermit mode. And um, wow, time for yourself. That is hilarious that they're doing this as I'm saying that. It's like note to yourself and time for yourself. They are really, really in this planning process 
about how they can approach you and how you'll let them back into their world. Maybe they're making the necessary changes in order for you to come back into their world. They are waking up to it. As I keep drawn to being drawn to being said, they are waking up to it big time. Very, very weird that I am keep cool to being said that. Solar plexus chakra. Wow, okay. So yeah, their gut instincts all along has told them that it's you. And they knew it. And they've been avoiding their solar plexus chakra. They've always known that it was you. They've done a lot of healing on themselves. Um, a lot of thinking. A lot of um, introspection. And they are waking up to it. They are going to come forward to you. They are going to show you they've changed. And it is ultimately up to you. But they are waking up. And they are going to come forward to you. Okay. Let's get you some letters to finish off this reading. Okay, we've got an E, A, O, another E, another A, a D, a C, a B, oh sorry, an R and an N. We've got red, ren, two A's, two E's, O, N, C, R and D. Okay, group three, I hope this is informative to you. I hope you are in a good place and can make um, the decisions you need to make in order to have the future you want. Please don't take get taken advantage of again. Please have your guard up, set firm boundaries, and think with your head and heart, okay? All right. I feel very nurturing towards you. I feel like I need to be very motherly to you at the moment. So I hope you enjoyed this reading, Group 3. Take care. Bye.